WCSH 6 brings you more local information than any other main news organization on air, online, and everywhere you are at m.wcsh6.com. We met Trapp at a hangar at the Caribou Municipal Airport. He believes, and rightfully so, that he's just doing something that most of us have dreamed. Didn't you have this idea? I mean, when you're little, just yeah. holding on to a giant cluster of, of toy balloons and floating away? It's a pretty universal idea. It crosses cultures and generations and borders. Uh, just this fantasy form of flight, holding on to a towering cluster of balloons and floating off. Cluster ballooning involves taking a number of smaller balloons and attaching them to a gondola. Trapp believes his system is actually safer than a single large balloon. With a cluster of balloons, you have an inherently highly redundant system. It's a guy that almost made it across the Atlantic in 77. He got a rip in his balloon, a great balloonist, a rip which put him, caused him to put down about 100 miles short of his goal. When the day comes, Jonathan will use local volunteer crews to inflate and attach 370 balloons. The balloons will be tiered for safety and control. Suspended below will be ballast, sand and water that he will use to raise, lower and even steer his craft. Trap needs just the right weather. He needs low pressure over the Midwest and over Europe and a high pressure ridge in the Atlantic. It could come any time this summer. Weather is a most important factor because Jonathan will be at the mercy of the winds. I don't know where I'm going. That is, when I leave the warm arms of caribou, I can't tell you what country I'll see next, what language they'll speak, what currency will be in use. Um, I can't tell you the continent. Trapp's gondola is a Portland pudgy. He has spent more than two days testing it in Casco Bay in case of what he hopes is the highly unlikely event of a water landing. Jonathan Trapp has flown the English Channel and the Alps. Now he's trying to make aviation history with the first cluster balloon crossing of the Atlantic Ocean. In Caribou, Bill Green, News Center.